I don't know anyone who's not on social media. We love it. We connect with friends, organizations, use it to promote their business, businesses, advertise. But social media, you can't always trust what you see, correct? Absolutely. Absolutely. And there's definitely a huge marketplace on social media for fraudsters and tricksters. And that is something that we have to be aware of when we are participating in buying things on social media. So then what responsibility to social media platforms like Facebook, for example, have in ensuring that no criminal activity is being um, actually advertised on their platform or that no fraudulent business um, can continue advertising on their platform? Do they have a responsibility? Well, they say in terms of their terms of service that they don't have a responsibility. And they also say in terms of their terms of service that they want people to feel safe and that they want people to participate in social media. So there is a little bit of a balancing act that they have to uh, walk a tightrope with. The problem for them is that people are not accepting anymore that they are just a platform where people can advertise. And they are saying that they really are publishers, that, that Facebook and social media platforms are publishers that need to take responsibility. And that's why there's been increasing litigation on this issue. So then what kind of protective measures do these platforms have um, in protecting users from fraudulent uh, pages or from scamsters that are trying to, to fraudulently get people's money? Well, they do say that you can report. And so they've just got a, fail, a, a fallback uh, mechanism where you report and if they uh, fall foul of the community guidelines, then uh, Facebook will, will take it down. However, often there is just a generic response that is given, and, and that isn't acceptable anymore to consumers. So they are starting to have to um, take a little bit more responsibility in taking the information down. But strictly speaking, in terms of their terms of service, uh, they have basically uh, contracted themselves out of liability. So it's going to be someone or an individual or a company that has got an appetite for litigation and is willing to spend money on litigation that takes a big behemoth like uh, Facebook on, a social media platform on and says that they must take responsibility because strictly speaking they don't have to take responsibility. It depends. Um, I'm going to be a, a good attorney and say it depends on the facts of the case, and that's what we always fall back on. It depends on who they are complaining about, and it, it depends on what they are complaining about, and if they are complaining against the individual, or if they are complaining against the actual company. A second facet of this is that you have to make sure that when you are defaming someone, and when I say defaming, when you lowering, lowering the reputation of a company online or in public in any way, you have to make sure that what you are saying is true and in the public interest. So you may be very, very angry, and you may be saying all sorts of things that actually aren't true, and that might be unlawful. So you've got to be very careful when you are naming and shaming on social media. And the unfortunate thing is that it is so, so effective. So people will go onto social media and they will name and shame, and it is the easiest way to get any kind of reaction. But it is something that could land you in very, very hot water in the courts. Because if it's not true and it's not in the public interest, then it is unlawful and you can be sued for defamation. Thank you for watching our stories here online and please subscribe below to become part of our YouTube community and be notified when we upload our latest content. <laughs>